Yo, what's poppin? It's your boy TJ. Welcome back to the channel. I hope all is well with you guys. Let's have another positive week with trading. But starting with this video, I'm going to be talking about my Forex journey. You know, the highs and also the lows and how I actually started trading, learning the charts and becoming profitable, which is the most important thing about trading. You know, you want to be a profitable trader. Doesn't have to be trading every single day, five days a week on a trading week. Doesn't have to be like that. You only have to trade once or twice a week. If that, once a month. It all depends on your trading plan and loads of other stuff. If you're new around here, make sure to like, subscribe to my channel. I upload trading videos all the time. My consistency is going to be a lot better from here on in. As I showed you in the last video, look at the board, baby. There's nine videos right there that we're going to be doing. But without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, let's get into my Forex journey. A few moments later. Firstly, I just want to talk about, you know, the whole get rich quick thing, you know, it's all, that's a load of rubbish. The only way you're going to really make big money in trading is having a big account and using risk management. And obviously you can make money with a £500 account, $500 account, a $1,000 account and use 1%. The problem is that people have is that they go for high leverages with the brokers. Myself as well, I did that. And when I started my forex journey, I had no idea. I didn't, you know, I was trading all sorts of pairs with this group. This is about five years ago now. And, uh, you know, they would send the trade and you'd just be like, is it coming in or not? And you have no understanding of, like, the real markets and how markets move. You don't read charts at the start. I never read charts at the start. And um, my personal experience is I never actually got good at trading until I started trading by myself, looking at the charts and dictating the plays of how the market moves. Now, what I could recommend is open up like a telegram group of yourself. The trades you send, send in that group. Only trade once every other day. Don't be FOMO in trades. Don't enter those trades. And uh, yeah, see how many trades you hit in a week, in a month. See how many trades you sent in that telegram group in a week or a month. And then go from there. And obviously, you know, you don't even have to use real money. And this is where my Forex journey began. I used real money to start with. I lost about 10, 15,000. I was one of those people, probably like yourselves, entering trades, using bigger lots, having a bigger leverage on my account. Something that I would recommend is lowering your leverage. One to 100 max you need. You don't need any higher. If you haven't got the account size to be using big lots, don't use big lots because you want longevity. And that's something I learned the hard way by losing loads of my own money. You know, it's, so, it's a big, big loss losing your own money, but you keep going again. And in Forex, like 99% of people in the first three months, they leave the community. They leave trading because they've had bad results from the people they follow or they're just not trading correctly. They might even be in a group that's making profit, but they're not getting on the same trades as them. And they're like, why am I not making money? This is why I had to learn the hard way, but I only trade, you know, once or twice a week. My R to R is, you know, minimum 10 to one. Sometimes I might close early just to secure profits at the start of the week. It's all about your mindset. And with my journey, like, I remember trying to trade gold by myself. And I remember I flipped, like, a grand account to 15 grand in the space of an hour because of, like, the gold drop. I believe it was a gold drop. And, uh, obviously, you know, made 15 grand. But what happened? I kept on entering trades. So as the, as the charts are dropping, as the market's moving, I scale in more entries. I go sell, sell here. Now I'm going to sell more. And what happens is because I didn't have the mindset and understand the markets and how they move with gold, you would end up over leveraging your account. It's stopping out the minus and then you've still got your trade in, in profit. But the market just switches up. You lose all your money. Your account's gone and it's a GG. And this has probably happened to a lot of you people out there. So I want you guys to relate to me. You know, I'm successful now. It's taken me a long time. But managing to get there was a tough journey. Scaling in your trades doesn't really make you more profit. If anything, entering the market more equals more risk in losing. And that's something that you have to learn with trading. And this is my experience. Right? I remember I'd be in a trade, I'd be like, scaling entry quickly. I want to make more profit in this trade. But the entry that I'm scaling in isn't the correct position to scale in. Therefore, I'll end up losing even on my winning trades, I'd still lose money. Because my lot size is too high, I'm over margin my account, my leverage is too high, and I'm not risk managing. 
I'm going to make another video on risk management, but there are a few great apps which I will put a link in the description that you can use and I'll explain in my next video or in the next few videos because I'm going to be uploading one every two days about how to risk manage and about risk to reward r to r to help you guys so that was basically where it started off following groups and stuff like that it didn't really go well um and then i was like if these people can do it why can't i because these people i mean i'm losing right now with these groups i'm not making any money i'm losing my money i'm getting agitated i keep over risking because i want that dream i want the dream where i've got a lamborghini and xyz and I had to come to realization, you know, that's not that's not the truth. You know, what you see, people want you to see, and seeing is believing. So, you know, I've got a nice car, I've got my own house now, but it took me a long time to get that. And you've just got to enjoy the journey instead of, and the process, you know, instead of the end goal, you've got to have mini goals. So, for example, be profitable this month. Small goal. A great trading plan put in place. I had to make a trading plan. I'm not going to trade that pair if i have more than two losses that week i just won't trade anymore i'll make sure i'm risking one percent staying structured with my trading use the same one percent risk for every single trade the same stop line as well because a lot of people including myself with my journey you know you would extend yourself emotionally keep extending it because you believe it's coming in you don't want to close your trade out but the minus keeps creeping up creeping up creeping up then you lose the money because it's over leverage, bang, gone. Something that you need to understand is stop line is there, the stop loss is there for a reason. Use it, stick to the trading plan that you have in place and go from there. You know, you need to be try and be consistent every day. How you wake up to work, you go to work, you, fin you do your work, you finish work, you go home. Same with trading, you wake up, you do your trading, you stay consistent. You don't, for example, with work, you don't go into work and over... I was going to say overwork in terms of over trading, but it's not the same. However, you don't change up the way that you're doing your business because it's working. So if your trading isn't working, then you need to change it up and do something that will actually make it work in terms of one, two trades a week, risk management, same stop loss, have the same take profit, understand the psychology of trading in terms of closing out profits securing the profits you don't have to go again you know you can have 60 pips profit and then that's enough if you get 60 pips every single week you're making 240 pips with 20 pip sl that's 12 percent a month you're making on a 400 thousand dollar account you're making 48 racks 48 grand and you're only getting 60 pips a week now ladies and boys girls that's insane that's crazy but to get to that level, you need to have that training plan. That's what I had. I had to do the training plan, set up a telegram group, sending signals to myself with the trades I put in, updating the group, and going from there. And week to week to month to month, I started to get consistent. And I look back, because I get memories come up on my phone. I'm like, oh, I was grinding, you know, content I was grinding, trading I was grinding. Every day I lived for the markets. Like they say with like gym, with work, it's a lifestyle. Same with trading, treat it like a lifestyle and then when you get really good at trading, then you can ease off the gas. Yes, it's mentally draining, can be demoralizing when you lose your money and stuff like that, but that's why you've got to stay consistent. And I recommend people who are new to trading to get on a demo account and just try and be consistent for a long period of time and actually properly trade. Not just in it for the get rich quick. But after a few years, a prop firm called FTMO, it took me about three to four months to actually get my FTMO live account. I failed a few times, you know, I probably failed about 10 times in total on FTMO accounts. And that's because you just gotta, it does depend on market conditions, you know, you could get a big wick out that will take you over your debt max daily loss. There are ways in place for, you know, the prop firms to make money off your challenge fee instead of just the profit split which is why you need to be pretty cautious. If you've already got minus 2%, don't risk it, it's not worth it. If you had that $400,000 account, would you over trade on it? Probably would, but you'd lose it and then you'd learn the hard way. And it's all about you know trial and error, human error, and about learning from mistakes. And if you don't learn from your mistakes and self-develop as a human and as an individual with trading, then you're gonna get lost and you're gonna sit there wondering why it doesn't work out. It's the same thing as about consistency, like my YouTube channel. If I don't upload, I don't get views. 
I don't get subscribers, you guys don't get videos. I've got to stay consistent with my videos on YouTube, same with trading, you treat it like a lifestyle, same with the gym, lifestyle. So, after I got my FTMO account, obviously, started absolutely buzzing, you know, made some good money from FTMO, so big up FTMO. But, to get to that stage, you know, I had to make money. So I had a job on the side, was working in London, making money, had a few online businesses, making the money, but I wasn't forking out any live account money as of yet because I didn't want to keep losing my live money. I wanted to make sure I could trade well. And that was the biggest thing with these prop firms, you know. You pay a hundred pounds, you get a challenge for 10 grand. 10 grand, 1% is a hundred dollars. You got a hundred dollars per 1%, you're getting 12% in a month. Like I said, 60 pips a month, uh, a week. That's 1.2K. $1,200 extra income. Put that into a year, it's 4.4. 14.4, sorry. That's how you got to measure it out. Not just trying to get the quick, get rich quick, adding big lot sizes, then a week later going, I've lost my account, I can't trade. That's not trading, that's gambling. There's a big difference between trading and gambling. And obviously, you know, people will say, Trading is gambling, but it's just trading responsibly and smartly, you know, it's the same. It's a, it's a, it's, I would say it's a lot different, you know, I look at a chart, when I know what direction it's going, it's free money. That's how I look at it, it's free money, because there's a difference between retailers and people like myself, and there's probably, there's a lot probably better traders than myself out there, and they'll probably be like, you know, you should be getting 20 plus trades in a row. However, extremely unlikely, unlikely, I haven't met anyone like that, Funny enough, I haven't really met anyone that's really hitting the percent that I've hit, but it has taken a long time, you know, at the start it wasn't like it, and uh, I just had to build up my cash flow, kept trading on demos, FTMO challenges, passing the FTMO challenges, and then going from there. It wasn't until in myself where I lost all my money and was like, Tommy, you know, you've got to really, really sort out this trading because if you don't, it's not going to work out, and it depends how much you want it. If you want it, and you don't just want it to get rich quick, you actually want to learn the fundamentals of trading, then you're going to be successful in a year, two years, three years, four years time. If you're just trading because you heard about it and you actually have no understanding, then you probably won't do well. And the reason for this is you need to, if you're in a group and someone sent out the signals and this is something I did, I'd go look at what their trade day sent. Go see what their analysis was about see why they did it, why they got the market view, why they put out that trade, why they're entering into that trade. And then you could start to like contradict what they're doing. You're like, really? Why would you enter there? That makes no sense. And when you start to get a bit smarter than, you know, that group that say that you with with myself anyway, you're like, no, you guys can't trade. And I'm trying to rely on you guys to help me get good at trading. Yet you guys can't even bloody trade. So what, what's going on there? And this is, um, this is why, you know, VIP is $24.99. I put out so much free content. I've got a second channel where I do analysis and I just put out five trades because you need to have good signals if you're on live accounts, as an example, to make up for your own mistakes because you will make mistakes. I make mistakes myself. You know, there's trades where I hit a sell, enter again because of FOMO and I lose and I make minus 2%. I'm like, nah, I'm done. So, trading plan, risk management, psychology. Try not to actually risk your own money, you know, use a demo account and just get good at, you know, just get good at the simple stuff of trading. Just learn how to actually trade. Let me go, let me know if you guys want me to open up like some mentorship thing. Um, I did live streaming about eight months ago. We was getting 100, 200 plus viewers in there on Twitch slash YouTube as well sometimes. That was popping off. If you guys want me to do that again, let me know in the comments and I'll for sure do some free mentorship get you guys learning how to actually understand market direction, trading, and all that good stuff. Loads of content coming from your boy TJ. But as of yet, I am successful, I'm doing well, and the journey's just begun. So you guys are with me all the way for my own journey, and I'm with you for yours. So if you need my help, let me know in the Discord, join up the Telegrams and all that good stuff, link in the description. Until next time, I'll catch you in a bit. Peace, baby!